Hello and welcome to another edition of Football Manager Notts County Magpies to the Top. I am Pakira and today it is the third round of the EFL Cup. Notts County face Wolves. So there's some of the stats there. Uh, Wolves are in the championship. Let's just have a quick squiz of some of the last results since we last uh, left you at Cambridge. There's only really been the one game. So just... <laughs> We followed that up with another 2-0 loss. Uh, that was a disappointing match. I, I was pretty much the end of the game. Team talk was aggressive. You guys, you know, basically did rubbish. Um, so what we've done today is change things up a bit. It is the cup. Transfer-wise, there is no real transfer news since the last time. Just uh, loan players. So I'm not going to really go over that. I may include the, in more detail if you want. Uh, around the January because I'm hoping to get some couple of um, defenders in if I can. But let's have a look at today's um, team selection. So if we go in, you'll see we are now playing a 4-3-3, a couple of insides forwards and it was one man up top. Just going to try something different today against um, Wolves. So in goal we have Colin. Uh, we have as a wing back. Robles on the right, we have Dickinson on the left. Central, we have Duffy and Adul. We are resting Bowler um, because he has been fatigued and I gave him a, just let him know that we're going to give him a rest for this week and he's like pretty sweet with that. Defensive midfield, we are playing, uh, where are we? Playing Thompson in defensive midfield. In the centre, we've got O'Connor and Phillips. Inside forward on the right we have Yates, on the left we have Forte as an inside forward as well. And up top as a false nine, we're going to try this out, I may change it, we have Adam Campbell. So on the bench you will also see that we have Steed and Abby Obi. So um, you know, we've got a bit of experience here, we'll see what happens if we need to change it up. But that's the team we're going with today, and um, let's see how we go I guess. As you can see here, guys, the Wolves are the favourites at 4-5. to five. I mean, and they've got a fancy Wolves to win this one. Uh, pff, yeah, I would be as well. So we've got a tunnel interview. You've left Robert Milson out. Is that due to his recent injury problems? Yeah. Um, he's just been... Yeah, that's right. It's because he's coming back from injury. I just don't want to do too much crazy. You've lost D out. Why is that? Well, he's just been rested. It's nothing more than that. And as you can see, we are lining up with that new formation. And uh, Wolves are a 4 4 1 2 with a couple of defensive midfields. So they may be anticipating a, you know, um, to hit us on the counter there. So we'll see what happens anyway. Opposition instructions, <laughs> I'm not going to do any today. We're just going to leave it as it is. Let's go back into it, straight into the team talk. Okay, we're um, underdogs here. So I'm not going to put too much pressure. Um, let's go and give the fans something to cheer for, guys. Everybody listen keenly. How nice. Let's kick it off. So, Sayas has got the ball to Halofa. Intercepted by Thompson. Thompson to Yates. Yates dwells on the ball, finds Robles. Robles is running the flanks. Again to Yates. Disposed. Okay, so early days yet, bit of activity. That's just a kick off. Phillips with the free kick puts it over. Early free kick there. That's good for us. So just hopefully we can um, improve on this. Now the last two matches, the last game, of course, as I showed you, we did lose 2-0, and that's despite a very close game. Again, we had a lot of um, opportunities to put the ball in the back of the net, and we just didn't take them. So I've changed training up a little bit to focus a lot more on um, attacking, and um, match preparation will be just kind of depending on the team. So Forte's got the ball here. He finds Dickinson. Dickinson brings it up a little bit into Phillips. Phillips to O'Connor, O'Connor back to Dickinson. Dickinson is just sitting there and letting the ball be taken off him. So now we're in the back foot. We're going to watch out for that cross because number 22 is unmarked. Luckily the, the cross is a bit shite. Uh, but not enough to Sims who gets on the end of it. Crosses it back through 
And their striker has scored. So it's a 1-0 to Wolf. So Sayas again crosses the ball. He had time there. And just Bath. No one's picking him up. Just ridiculous how much time he had on there. No, it's not a goalkeeping fault. That's a defensive error. Yep. That's, I've had enough of your rubbish. Time to make a substitution here. Okay, Dickinson, you're going to be a defensive wing back. Uh, defensive. You're going to go a little bit more forward. Again, it's got Campbell as a target man. I don't know why the game is doing this. If you guys can give me any ideas for Football Manager 2017, why it does this, I will double check the instructions because maybe there is still slipping in there saying um, swap places anyway Curtis is Thompson's coming off I'm going to bring on Atkinson yep okay no I'm not um, I'm do last Okay, it's time to bring the big man up here. I'm going to drop Grant down instead of Thompson. I'm going to bring Steed on and, uh, for Thompson here. I know Steed can play as an advanced playmaker. We're going to put him on attack. And also, Michael O'Connor's struggling here. He's got a yellow card. Hmm. I don't really think Campbell's probably looking a little bit worse for we're too. So we're going to bring Amiobi off of Campbell. And then we're going to swap him and Forte around. And Forte's best but just. Blah, blah. Yep, we'll leave him there. Okay, let's confirm those, those changes. So those changes will go through now. Amy Obi on for Campbell, Steed on for Curtis. Okay. Waiting for next highlight. Yellow card to for Wolves. Next Robles, another yellow card. Okay, right, guys, we need to. We need to calm down. We need to calm down. These yellow cards could cost us. We're not going to be able to get back in this match if we're man down. Is it going to get to the ball? No. Price. Price. I've got all the time in the world. Hofer is going to cross it. Munch, you know, man should just go wide. Goodness for this. <sighs> Forte is offside. Dickinson with the ball. Brings it up. Hoops it to Amiobi. Wasted position of pass, really. Sims has got the ball now. Being shadowed by Robles. Crosses it again. Dickinson's there. Heads it away, but only to Hal Al Costa. Crosses it back in. Adul manages to get the head clear. Halder to Sims. Sims. Off Duffy to a corner. Duffy did his job. We are going to go to counter. Okay, why well, have I got nine here? Stay on feet, be more disciplined. Let's run at them. Okay. Two minutes of added time. Well, <laughs> that looks like the cup runneth over has finished now. We've only got a couple of minutes left on the clock, not even that, and we're down by two goals, so... Again, the recent form, poor form has kind of come into this match. I don't know if I probably shouldn't have come into this with the the formation I did. 
Um, I do, th I mean, position, we've got more position. We've had seven shots, two on target, three off, one, only one clear cut chance. I wouldn't say we were robbed or anything, but I do think we, we're just not clinical enough right now in front of goal. It's disappointing. I'm not going to go off. We, we, you know, we weren't supposed to even get this far. So, you know, don't look at We were just unlucky there. I think we were just unlucky. Um, and it's good that we can try and look at this in the positive light and gain some confidence for it. So we're going to go to the post-match now and see what is said by the press. Obviously, they predicted the win for Wolves, and that seems to be how it turned out. Looking at, at other results quickly, you got Aston Villa beating Blackburn, Huddersfield against beating Charlton, Palace took on and beat Leicester, Man U drew with Stoke, QPR beat Birmingham, Liverpool lost to Southampton, and West Ham beat Cheltenham. So, with that, folks, I'm going to leave it here. We will be coming back for the Portsmouth match, as will be our next one. Uh, thanks for joining us. Unfortunately, looks like they got a bit camera shy again, and we um, are knocked out of the cup 3 1. But I am really pleased with the efforts. Like I said, we weren't expected to even get past the first round. We managed that. We managed to to topple Middlesbrough, who are a premiership team, you know, and um, we ended up just facing probably a better prepared Wolves. But then again, looking at the stats, I do think we probably, if we had been a bit more clinical, we could have probably just caused a bit more if it, you know, problems. Anyway, thanks a lot. Please, if you like this video, please submit um, the like button down there. Give it a good old hit. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. And please comment down below. Uh, let me know um, just any feedback regarding the matches, the recordings, anything and everything. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks a lot, guys. You have a good day. And we'll see you next time when we take on Portsmouth.